Uh, it's Friday. I'm uh, just back from the gym. Roy's down taking a nap, so I'm going to do a protein bar review. All right, so I saw these at Harris Teeter the other day. They are Fit Crunch by Robert Irving. They were two for five bucks, so I figured I'd give them a shot. Um, I've had one of their other Fit Crunch uh, before. I had their peanut butter and jelly bar. I'm not a big jelly uh, candy fan, so I wasn't really into that. The topping, the jelly topping was like gummy bears. No thanks. But uh, these look pretty good. It's uh, their loaded cookie. This one is a chocolate deluxe, and this one is peanut butter blast. So the chocolate deluxe is 330 calories. That's the one I'm going to be trying today. Um, and the other one is 360. They both have 22 grams of protein. It's, um, I mean, the protein to calories, the calories are kind of high. I normally wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't do this. You can get a Quest bar that's 180, 190 calories, 200 calories with 20 grams of protein. Uh, you're getting it up there into the 300, 400 calorie range. Eh, I mean, I'm sure it tastes pretty good. It probably has extra sugar and shit like that in it, but uh, it's a little high calorie for me personally, but figure what the hell, you know, whatever. Anyway, so Robert Irvine, I'm sure everybody knows he's from Food Network. He's a British chef. And he's a pretty big dude. So it's got uh, chocolate candy pieces. What's the protein? And a lot of shit in there. Protein is way down on the ingredients list, which tells you something. Whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrates. That's it. All right. So, all right. It's got uh, 330 calories for one bar, 13 grams of fat, 34 carbs. It's got 10 sugar alcohols, so that cuts down on the carbs, and 22 grams of protein. So we're going to give it a whirl. It says loaded with chocolate-flavored pieces, marshmallows, and more. I'm not a marshmallow fan. Hopefully these are very tiny marshmallows. All right. It is about the size of a Little Debbie brownie. You can see it's got the chocolate pieces on top and then chocolate swirl, whatever. It smells like a brownie. Honestly, it smells a lot like a little Debbie brownie. Sean would probably love this. Oh. Mm. Chocolate piece down. I'm going to have to fish that out later. All right. That's pretty good, actually. Tastes a lot like a little Debbie Brownie. Um, I mean, you can taste that it's that it's not exactly dead on. Don't get me wrong, but it's very close. If you want to eat this as a dessert, you figure you're getting some protein in your dessert. Um, I would do it. It's very chewy. You can see the marshmallow pieces in there and stuff like that. Focus on that. Yeah, there you go. You can see the chocolate pieces in there too. So that's not bad. I guess if you eat a regular brownie, but you get like three grams of protein. At least with this, you get 22 grams, so that's something. All right. Now, I'm definitely not going to eat both of them. I see some of these guys eating like two and three of these bars. One, I'm not going to waste the money, so I'm not going to eat half the thing and throw it away. I'm not going to dig into a second one. But I'll just try one at a time. So, all right. This one is the Chocolate Deluxe Loaded Cookie. Pretty good. Uh... Honestly, it tastes more like a dessert than a protein bar, so that's good if you're looking for something uh, that's not as, you know, chewy or dense or whatever as a regular protein bar. It is a little high calorie for me, but it is tasty, so I don't know. I'll give it one of these. <clears throat> I don't know if I would get it again. Like I said, I get a Quest bar or something like that if I'm looking for a protein bar. There don't need too many protein bars outside of what I'm doing on here. Anyway, all right, I'll try the, uh, the peanut butter one tomorrow. Thanks.